Get this mighty hedgerow to bring us fruit, to ease our labor, sequester our water and our carbon, produce tasty veggies, and give us privacy. So people are always like, why do you even want to have a hedgerow anyway? Why not just have an orchard like a normal person? And I'm always like, because in addition to being the one element in the landscape that probably stacks more functions for people than anything else, it also happens to be probably about the lowest maintenance, highest impact sustainability feature you can have. With benefits to wildlife, soil, carbon, water, not to mention they're just flipping cool. They're historic, associated with cultural and spiritual traditions around the world, symbolic of our right relationship with nature, the boundary between the human world and the other side. Even the word garden itself is defined by the kind of enclosure that we can create with hedges. Well, for some the question was why, but for others the larger question remained. Would it even work? Well, we had really been inspired by the natural hedgerows that we were going to to forge all season long that were filled with food with no work. But when we started talking about things, it was very different than what the experts recommended, which was more like orchard spacings. But when we looked into the European tradition uh, on hedgerows and tapestry hedges, we started to find something that looked a whole lot more like what was happening uh, naturally in our ecosystem in terms of the space spacings and density of plants that were occurring and the kinds of species. Uh, so that's really what we decided to em emulate. But we can't just thrust any old plants together into a thicket and expect them to be productive and healthy. We'll need plants that are copacetic to coppicing, the kind of hard pruning we'll be doing. Next, we'll need plants that are well adapted to thrive, even in the tight plantings of a thicket, and still be productive and healthy. And the herbaceous perennials we choose also have to be able to take care of themselves. Things such as aggressive strawberries, fennel, asparagus, good king, henry, sorrel, endive, nettles, poke, comfrey, herb, robert, perennial alliums, cleavers, woodruff, milkweed, Turkish rocket, sweet rocket, wall rocket, Jerusalem, artichokes, Japanese yam, grapes, kiwi, groundnut, ground pea, ladies, thumb, clover, salad, burnet, spring beauty, a myriad of mints, and much more.
Oh, 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 oh.